Now, there have been numerous cases around the world of doctors leaving behind a surgical instrument inside the patient's body during operations. Now, in a similar incident, it was found out that doctors here too had done the same to a woman, only she learnt of it over four years after the surgery took place. Now, the patient from Madur appeared before the media at Manglo Nursing Home and alleged that the doctors who had operated upon her four years ago had left behind a pair of scissors inside her. She said that more than four years ago, on February 22, 2010, that is, she was admitted to Manglo Nursing Home for hysterectomy. Now, after the surgery, she developed swelling inside the joints and especially in her knees and consulted some doctors who told her that such swelling was common in patients who undergo such an operation. Nevertheless, she continued to take treatment, but to no avail. She was not able to do any work, which sent her into depression and her health further deteriorated. For four years, she took various treatments for her pain. Now, a few days ago, she consulted another doctor who referred her to a skin specialist, who in turn asked her to take x-rays and undergo other tests. She did so accordingly, and to her utter shock, the x-ray revealed a pair of scissors resting in her pelvic area. Now, she then came to the hospital to demand an explanation from Dr. Purnima Nair and Dr. Rohit Gatti, who had operated upon her. She further said that, though she had not decided on her future course of action, she was determined not to seek any further treatment in the same hospital. Dr. Purnima Nair, in her defence, said that her surgery is a teamwork, and if any such incident occurs, it is the responsibility of the entire team and not of any single person. She moreover pointed out that the surgery was done on the central portion of the pelvis, where the uterus was located, whereas the pair of scissors was found towards the side. Push your heart, baby. Don't do like that. I know they are all troubled, they are angry. It is justified, I can understand. If you have a lot of people who are not going to be able to do it, you can't do it. Negligence is not going It is confirmed that something is found. X-ray is not going to be able to do it. But at that time, there was no one who was going to be able to do it. The patient had to do the operation. Now, the surgery area is not going to be able to do it. That's why the surgery area is not going to be able to do it. So, if you have to go to the hospital, you have to go to the first hospital. At that time, there is a lot of pain. If you have to go to the hospital, you have to go to the hospital. If you have to go to the hospital, एन इधरू अद ओपन मारी अ प्लेस ऑफ इंस्ट्रूमेंट नम्बे गोत्ता आग बैक वादो एल्ली इधे अंते हेली कोण्डो इंस्ट्रूमेंट इधे एल्ली इधे अंते हेली नम्बे फर्स्ट प्लेसमेंट अदरा देल्ली अंता गोत्ता आग बैको नाउ मारी द गाया मेल इन द कैलगेरे मिडलाइन अली नडू अली सो एन इधरू सा आ प्लेस अली वड़ा एन इधर वो तो ओपन मार दिया था मेले नोट बैक आ सकते हैं लिए दे अंते हेली इगा प्रॉब्लम आ गई थे पेशेंट के प्रॉब्लम आ गई थे यार इंदा तब्बा आ गई थे आदु यार इंदा तब्बा आ गई थे अदनु इट्स अ टीम एफर्ट यावा सर्जरी आ दरो ओब्री के होने का रंता मार लेके आ गुदे ला सर्जन इरतारे इवरु काउंटिंग मारी करता रहे, इन्नो ब्रो आया, इन्नो तो करता रहे, एल्ला देख के उन्दो चंदे इधे मारो आगा, सो अब्बरा मारी द बरबसे ले नाओ अदन ओके अंते हेली कोण्डो पेशेंट सर्जरी मुक्दा मेले बंद मारो दो, सो काउंट अवरे तप्पु कट्रे केलों में, उलीवा साध्य ते गोली वे लक्ष्य दलियों उन्दो � Yestu beja rawuri ke unta aste, namge sahida. Ya kandre, namma nigaran eli agi deh helu aga, namge sa tumba beja rakta de. Idrali nana job dari bitu kodu dal lah. Adan hege inu sudar ispekan tu nol beka aste. In fact, uh, that's the doctor over there uh, stating that uh, she can't be uh, blamed uh, for what really has happened over here. In fact, the patient had undergone two operations. She says that uh, as of now, you one can't really state during which operation this pair of scissors was actually left in her stomach. But, uh, well, it's a, a shocking uh, case wherein this lady has now, after undergoing an x-ray, found out that four years after she underwent these operations, a scissors, a pair of scissors has been left 
inside her body. Now, what sort of long-term damage this has caused or will be causing to her body, no one knows. But uh, as of now, she will have to undergo another operation in order to remove that and get herself treated once more for what, whatever sort of infection it has caused over there. In fact, uh, the family members over there showing the x-ray that was uh, taken, which clearly shows the pair of scissors inside of her body. Now, for four years, four long years, this lady has actually lived with that, with all the pain. Now, doctors have actually treated her for depression, for normal stomach pain, for this pain and that pain, but no one knew the entire problem. Finally, another doctor asked her to take an x-ray or get an x-ray done, and that is when this came to light. So for four long years, this poor lady has been bearing with this trouble, with this pain. Now, the big question is how irresponsible can whichever doctor, the team of doctors can be? Now, it is their duty to save lives or save lives and not kill a patient. Now, thankfully, this lady has not succumbed to uh, whatever pain or injuries that those that pair of scissors would have caused. What action will the uh, KMC or the Karnataka Medical Council uh, take against them? What action will the, the topmost medical uh, body in India take against these doctors? It's left to be seen. Well, there are numerous cases around the world, in fact, of doctors leaving behind surgical instruments uh, inside a patient's body during operation. And now we see this happening uh, right here in our own state, in our own country, right here in Mangalore. And the patient from Madur, she actually appeared before the media at the Mangalore nursing home and alleged that the doctors over there who had operated upon her four years ago have left behind a pair of scissors inside her. The doctors over there state that uh, she has undergone two operations, so one can't really put the blame on them because of these two operations. And uh, they will have to actually operate her once more to remove the scissors and then to figure out to which hospital the pair of scissors belongs to. Four years back, I had an operation my doctor at the well, in fact, uh, we now have with us uh, Dr. Venkatesh uh, Rao. Doctor, thank you for speaking uh, to News 9. First of all, Doctor, have you ever come across uh, such a case in your long uh, career? Yes, you could. I mean, um, uh, uh, such instances do occur when um, either a surgical instrument or uh, a um, pad or a um, co uh, you know, like is a cotton pad which are used for mopping, etc., inside the abdomen, or a gauze piece is uh, left inside. Uh -huh. and this is why, over the years, it has been made compulsory that you use gauze or pads which have got a radio opaque uh, um, thread in it, and that all instruments and all uh, and gauze pieces, uh, whatever you use, they have to have a count. So we have a gauze count, a mop count, and a, I mean, some people call it sponge, some people call it mop, and an instrument count. And this now it, it has been made compulsory in all hospitals that it be signed by the surgeon, the nurse who assists, etc., that the counts have been uh, correct, that all the numbers of uh, which were taken at the beginning of the operation are present at the end of the operation outside the patient. And when there is a, a problem with the count, an X-ray is taken to be sure that uh, any uh, anything is not been left inside. Since I told you that all gauzes and mops used in during surgery have a radio opaque uh, thread in it. Radio opaque means it will show up on the X-ray. It will block the X-rays going through. So the, these are all the measures nowadays uh, compulsorily used to prevent such incidents. These incidents were more common in the past when uh, such measures were not in place. All right. Now, doctor, considering that this has happened over here, how dangerous is it when uh, surgeons actually leave instruments inside the body for the patient? Uh, I would start with a generalization on any foreign body inside the body. Uh, now, any uh, what we call is anything which shouldn't be inside the body being inside the body, that we call it as a foreign body. Now, uh, commonest are things like sharp nails from an explosion, bullets, etc. Often these are retained inside the body. And... Uh, um, now, what can a foreign body cause? 
if it is contaminated that uh, like if you have a um, accident and some wound occurs and dust and dirt gets into your wound uh, it will be contaminated it will have bacteria and uh, you know, various other organisms and can cause a, a infection and um, second is that uh, something like a shrapnel or any other thing which has got, uh, which releases uh, some toxic uh, material can also cause problems third is the physical presence of that foreign body causing problems now let's t- take the issue at hand if you leave a surgical instrument inside the body or a, a one a, a, there is a, a infection is usually not a, um, a problem there because um, it is not uh, it is a sterile instrument it is not uh, contaminated okay. second uh, but uh, there is a pro- problem if somehow a, 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 infect, a infective agent reaches it because once an infective re- agent reaches a foreign body your body doesn't have and the mean that foreign body doesn't have blood supply so um, your body's defense mechanism can't fight an infection uh, in a place where there is no blood supply 